You know, and one thing that I think is interesting is that when this Supreme Court decision came down declaring that movies were commerce and not art, the decision was written by Justice Joseph McKenna. And he wrote some very flowery language about how he believed that the state ban and regulate the content of movies because they, quote, may be used for evil. But not in Birth of a Nation, which we all agree is great (laughs) and supports a wonderfully racist and evil belief system. We love it. It's so good. (laughs) Well, that's the thing is that he wasn't talking about Birth of a Nation. Um, The evil that he was talking about and which a lot of, quote unquote, reformers would be talking about over the decades when it came to Hollywood movies was about things that went against the basic tenets of Christianity, which racism did not. And, you know, but kissing. Oh, my God. (laughs) Yeah, um, mostly the evil that these people wanted to regulate had to do with sex and violence Mm. and particularly any kind of sex beyond sort of married procreative sex. Hmm. And so one thing that you see over and over and over again over the years, and I would argue even in 2022, is that films that suggest that people are having sex with more than one partner, that are having non-straight sex, Mm -hmm. that are having interracial relationships— are all sort of rated or censored more harshly. One of the things that became problematic with different states, thanks to the Supreme Court decision being able to do their own censorship, was that there were different standards in different places. And so this was bad news for the movie industry and for filmmakers because they would send, you know, a print of their movie to all these different places and the different places could decide what was acceptable and what wasn't. And so, like, in one place, they might just cut out a scene that involves cigarette smoking. Hmm. You know, another place, they might cut out a scene because, like, a woman's dress was falling off her shoulder. Um, and But then they'd keep the cigarette in that other place. And so what ended up happening was that there'd be, like, 25 different versions of the same movie, and hmm. the industry couldn't control that. That's fascinating. So you would be like, Remember that great sexy movie and your friend from Ohio would be like, I don't remember any shoulders being in that movie. (laughs) Yeah, but there was so much smoking. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. 